three, two, one, let's go! What's going on, family? Today is Monday, December the 11th, and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with another End Times video. Family, let's go! I pray you guys are doing well today, and wherever you're watching from, I hope you're staying warm. I know here in South Carolina, it's very cold. And I also pray wherever you're watching from, you're having a blessed day in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, family, I got a little bit of a different video for you today. Today, we're going to be looking at a movie called Lead the World Behind that come out on December the 8th on Netflix. And family, this movie was very revealing. It's filled with the Antichrist agenda and it's predictive programming. Now, family, Hollywood is where the world elite create their magic. It is so full of the Antichrist spirit. It has the agenda it's pushing. Now, I'm not one who watches movies. I really don't even watch TV. But I watched this movie, and family, all I can say, man, it was like, wow. There was a lot of symbolism in the movie, and guys, you can just tell, in my opinion, it was satanic in nature. But guys, guess who helped produce this movie? No other than Barack Hussein Obama, former U.S. President, and Big Mike. Yes, family, a former president of the United States helped make a movie like this. Now, family, in the opening credits alone, they had an upside-down flag, upside-down cross, and there was a lot of hidden eye symbolism like the all seeing eye of Providence. Family, either Barack Obama is the ultimate troll, or family, he's trying to tell the world something, or he just don't care. And it also, the opening credits was filled with the Masonic checkerboard floors. Family, very evil in nature. But listen to what Julia Roberts said about Obama's involvement in this film on a late night interview. President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama are producers on the film. They are. Did they work closely with the film? Uh, yes, you know, they, well, this was on President Obama's um, reading list. You know, he puts out his cool books yeah, and cool songs. Right. And so this book was on his list, and he's a big fan of Mr. Robot. And um, so I think he and Sam, you know, collaborated, with, you know, with the notes in the beginning and the notes when we were done filming in the post-production. And was he, well, imagine him in the editing room. So family, you can see former U.S. President Obama was very involved in this film. You can read this headline right here. The director was very shocked when Obama brought his notes about the adjustments and the tweets he wanted to make in the film. So family, a former U.S. President was involved in making a film that the whole film is pretty much about this. The U.S. is hit with a cyber attack. All power, all communication goes out. Planes are going down. Ships are going off into land. All while the animals start to act funny, doing things that are not normal for animals to do. They keep on talking about there's no going back to normal, like normal isn't coming back. Family, we've been saying that for a while because normal isn't coming back, but our Messiah Jesus is. But family, it's almost like this was predictive programming, and I truly believe it is. Letting people kind of see what's going to come or maybe a little glimpse of it. Family, they've done this stuff in the past before. And when a president's involved in it, a former U.S. president who may know things that the average Joe don't, family, it's like, wow, what's really going on here? Family, it seems like these days all Hollywood is doing is putting out trash, predictive programming. They're targeting society with these movies to try to influence culture. And family, just remember this. Even if the power does go out, we have nothing to fear. We're children of the Most High God, and He will always take care of us. And family, that's facts. But this was hands down one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen. There's actually a video I'm about to play for you. I want you guys to hear what this guy has to say about it. This is from Shepherd of the King, and I think our brother right here made some very valid points. I'm done with this world, guys. I'm done with this simulation. Take me home. I'm over it. I'm sick and tired of the predictive programming and the insane reality that we live in. I'm so done. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this trailer for the new Netflix movie, Leave the World Behind. Another great predictive programming piece of filth from Hollywood. Part of their magic. Unbelievable. I'm not sure if you have seen it. If you haven't, go ahead and watch the trailer. I'm sure it's on TikTok somewhere. It's about a cyber attack and a blackout that happens. And in the trailer, the predictive programming and the verbiage in the words used they use the sentence normal is not coming back right okay well we've been hearing that forever and we understand 
normal is not coming back. But now I want to dive in a little bit more into this movie. Um, I'm going to show you an article and go through it with you, read about it, to see who's behind this movie. And it may make you um, wonder what's going on. Barack Obama gave script notes on Netflix's Leave the World Behind. What? Director Sam Esmail, kind of sounds like Ishmael, revealed that former President Barack Obama gave him notes on the script for Netflix's adaptation of author Roman Alum's Leave the World Behind. In a recent interview with Vanity Fair, published online Wednesday, the Mr. Robot creator, that's another show with crazy predictive programming, he said that he actually turned to Obama when he was penning the original drafts because he would help ground me a little bit on how things might unfold in reality. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe it's because Obama knows what's coming and he knows the script to reality and what they are planning in real life. Now let's continue. I'm writing what I think is fiction. For the most part, I'm trying to keep it as true to life as possible, but I'm exaggerating and dramatizing Ishmael. Ismail explained, and to hear an ex-president say you're off by a few details because he knows what's coming. I thought I was off by a lot. The fact that he said that scared the F out of me. Last year, Higher Ground, the production company founded by the former president and Michelle Obama, signed on to the film, which stars Julia Roberts, whatever take you mean. Alan's novel follows a couple who heads out on vacation in a remote area of Long Island with their two teen children. But when the owners of their rental return in a panic, saying a sudden blackout has swept through the city, causing chaos, the two families are forced into a tense living situation. So we need to ask the question, why is an ex-president funding and producing movies, let alone apocalyptic movies and helping with the script because he knows reality so well like like really so family you see the obamas have become involved in hollywood now owning a production company guys that's insane but family it really don't surprise me they're both on an antichrist agenda the obamas and hollywood i'm telling you this world becomes more sick and twisted by the day I'm so sick and tired of seeing this evil Hollywood agenda be pushed to the world. And family, no matter what the meaning of the Leave the World Behind movie was, we know this, as followers of Jesus, Yeshua, we're supposed to leave this world behind, pick up our cross, and follow Jesus. And family, like I said earlier, we have nothing to fear. The enemy wants people to fear. And guys, if we're children of the Most High God, covered by the blood of Jesus, we have nothing to fear at all. Don't mean times won't get hard, but it means that we got someone fighting our battle for us. And guys, remember, Jesus laid down his life that we may live. He went to the grave, took our sin punishment, laid dead for three days, come back to life, and family, he's coming back soon. Well, my beautiful channel family, that's all I got for you today. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video. And family, I'll be back tomorrow with some end time news. You guys keep them eyes on the sky. Because our redemption draweth nigh. We're going home in the twinkling of an eye. Because you see family, that trumpet is about to blow. And family, when it does, you already know. Let's go Harpazzo!